Okay, uh, today I want to show you how to classify the soil okay, using USCS, uh, Unified Soil Classification System. Right, so before you can uh, classify the soil, you, ha you have to know here how to start. So actually to classify the soil, we have to start from the left column to the right column. So this is the step, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, and then this is column 5, is the group symbol. Okay. And then you have to know also the sieve size for number 200 and the sieve size for number 4. Because this is very important for you to know. Okay, so I make a note here. So for number 200 sieve, okay, the size is 0 0.075 millimeter, and for sieve number four, uh, equal to 4.75 millimeter. So this is very important note for you to memorize, right? Because in the USCS system, so. The table usually use number 200 and number 4. So number 200 is 0 0.075. Okay, number 4 is 4.75. Right. So I'll give you the example. Okay. From the particle size distribution. So this is the particle size distribution. And then this is the value of the liquid limit, plastic limit and plasticity index. Right. So if we have this data actually, uh, actually, it's enough for, for us to classify the soil, right? If we refer to the previous slide, all right, we have to determine either the soil is categorized as coarse green soil or fine green soil. So what we have to refer? We have to refer sieve number 200, which means that's 0 0.075 millimeter. So if we uh, refer to this uh, particle size distribution, we have to identify where is the sieve size 0 0.075. So if you see here, this is 0 0.01, right? So this is 0 0.02. Okay, this is 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07. So we have 0 0.05 here. Right, so we identify that 0 0.05 0 0.05 here. Okay, from here we determine what is the percentage passing at sieve number 200. So if we see here, okay, the percentage passing is uh, approximately 24 percent, right? And then we have to know the percentage passing for sieve number four. So for Sieve number 4, the sieve size is 4.75 millimeter. So if you see here, this is 1 because this is the log scale. So this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4. This is 4.57 here. And uh, we have to determine what is the percentage passing for sieve number 4. So if you get here, Okay, the percentage passing is about 95%. Right? So if we move, uh, if we if we go to the previous slide, right? Okay, we we have to know either the soil is coarse grain soil or fine grain soil. So from the from the graph, okay, from mm -hmm. the graph. <clears throat> we have 24% passing number 200 right and we have 95% passing number 4 right and then from here actually we can know okay we refer to sieve number 200 okay see number 200 so 24% passing. So which one fulfill? Either coarse green soil or fine green soil. So if we refer to coarse green soil, more than 50% of the soil sample retain on number 
200 all right so this is uh okay let's say we have 200 shift number 200 so passing is passing is 24 percent right so the retain on the shift is 76 percent right so retain on shift number 200 so means that uh, more than 50 percent so we have 70 percent retain right Right, passing 24% from the particle size division, we identify that the soil sample passing number 200 is 24%. So, the soil sample retained is 76%. Right, so the total uh, percentage should be 100%. Right, so means that the soil is classified as coarse grain soil. Okay. But if we if you want to confirm, okay, is it the soil it can be categorized as fine grain soil? So you see here, fifty percent or more passes number, two hundred sieve. So we have only twenty four percent, right? Less than fifty percent. So we cannot use for fine grain soil. So means that we ignore this part. Okay, we ignore this part, so we just focus on this one. Alright, we focus on coarse grain soil because for uh, for the first column, this uh, criteria fulfill for coarse grain soil. Grain soil. Now we move to a uh, second column. We want to identify either either the soil is gravel or sand. So we have to refer to sieve number four. So from the particle size division, okay, a sieve number four passing ninety five percent. So if we go for gravel, more than fifty percent of cough pressure retain number four. So same, we have to if you you want to plot this is number four. Passing mean this is passing number four ninety five percent. So for sure. Retain number four is only five percent then because the total percentage should be hundred percent. So five percent only retain number four. So if you see here, more than fifty percent retain number four. So actually it's not All right. So we have only four five percent. So it's not fulfilled. This so we cross this one. Okay, we cross this one and we don't need the symbol anymore. We just focus to this one right okay so actually sand fulfill because 50 percent or more of a cost uh, uh, fraction passes number four right so we have 95 percent more than 50 percent so of course this is sand and then uh, we have to identify either it is clean sand or sand we find right so how to know that so uh, it said that for clean sand less than five percent fine for sand refined more than 12 percent fine so what is fine actually what is fine fine is referred to sieve number 200 right so if you refer to sieve number 200 the percentage passing is 24 percent right so is it clean sand or sand refined so if we refer to clean sand less than five percent but we have more than five percent right we have 24 percent so if we refer to sand refined it said that more than 12 percent so it's fulfilled right because we have 24 percent so actually our sample is sand with fine so we ignore this part right so we ignore this part now the soil sample can be categorized maybe as sm or sc only right now uh, we refer to pi plasticity index okay from the pre, uh, from the uh, this graph so we have pi 
22. So if we refer this, so PI is more than 7, right? Because we have PI is 22, so we cannot use this. Alright, but we have to make sure here we have uh, PI more than 7 and plots on or above a line. So we have to refer uh, to the uh, a line. So if, this is the, the a line. Right, so if you refer to this, so our liquid limit is sorry 45 percent plus the limit 23 percent right so liquid limit 45 so 45 percent may be here somewhere here and then the plasticity index is 22 right so 22 may be here so actually it is located this is a line eh? so this is a line so it is located above the a line so actually uh, Okay, actually, it fulfills the criteria, right? So, uh, the group symbol is SC, okay, for the for the sample, right? Right? That's it. Right. Alright, so that's all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.